Meanwhile, let's get... Welcome back to Novice Explorer Radio. Follow the explorers for a full seven days on the road. I wonder what they'll see. We cover over 300 miles as we seek out stunning beaches and some of the most amazing wild camping spots we've had on our trip so far. Many places we visit have been recommended by you lovely lot, so sit back and enjoy a week in the life of the Novice Explorers. Welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. This week we are on the southeast of Spain, right on the coast, and we are taking the next seven days to vlog every day and show you where we're at and what we're doing. We are climbing Peñón de Fach, which is free to do and is hopefully quite quiet because it's very much out of season. Just back there, I just saw a sign saying no under 18s. Through the tunnel. Through the tunnel. I think that's the first walk I've been on that's been age restricted. So uh, what are we doing? Are we going to have to like... Who knows? I've only told him very little. I read a few reviews and it says if you're scared of heights, don't go through the tunnel and um, beyond. And my vertigo has been playing up recently. I'm determined. I'm not scared of them. It's just a bit like, ooh, I feel a bit uneasy. Mate, um, we've done a paraglide and a skydive. So you got to sort yourself out. Yeah, and we'd never do them again. <laughs> well, maybe the paraglide. We did actually enjoy the paraglide, but as you can see, I'm not exactly a natural or very graceful. Oh, there's the, um, the lake behind. There, we might be able to see flamingos, white flamingos. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's what it's all about. So, now we go into the tunnel. And I can see why <laughs> this would be an absolute nightmare if it is wet. <laughs> so we are only a few steps from the summit now. <laughs> Maybe not the best time to be vlogging as the rocks here are incredibly slippery and covered in seagull poop. It took us an hour and a half to reach the summit, but what a view, albeit very windy. We headed back down to check out the old town and get a glimpse of the flamingos. Right now. <laughs> right, right now. now. <laughs> right here. Uh, right right now. Here. <laughs> right here. Right now. Okay. Shh. Serious time. Right. So we followed the road around the lake and we have come to the far side that the flamingo seemed closer to. Yeah. So you want to get a better shot, don't you, and not just you? I want to see a flamingo up close, I don't... Yeah. Okay. So are they violent? I don't know. I don't think they're like swans. Mm. I think they're quite relaxed. <laughs> well, quite chill. we'll see. <laughs> the flamingos aren't full-time residents of Cal, but we got very, very lucky. That's like a little observation, peaky outy, have a looky, but it's not close enough, is it? No, but I've got a feeling that's probably as close as we can mm. get, possibly. Yeah. We have a little mooch around. We don't have a zoom lens, do we, particularly? No, not the moment, so, um, oh well, I can still see them. Yeah, I just want to see up close and get a nice picture. Oh well. There can be up to 300 birds enjoying the cooler climate before they head off to Africa. Then we hit the old town, full of colour, quaint streets and Spanish charm. It used to be home to the local fishermen. We found the old town walls, which used to protect the town from North African pirates. Something to note if you're travelling in a motorhome around Calp is that it's prohibited to park in the street or a public car park after 8pm. You must stay in a campsite. So our Calp adventure is over. We've just walked back from the old town across the beach, which was lovely, but we're both very, very tired. So we've got a 40 minute drive to our next destination, which will possibly be a beach park up in a t place called El Chavo. El Charo. It's only half four, but we're hoping to get there before it gets dark, just in case we need to move on. If it's not a good spot, then we've still got time to find somewhere decent for tonight. That was it. It's been a nice day today, um, but we're both extremely tired. So looking forward to 
making camp and just getting settled for the night, really having a coffee and something to eat. So I think we found our spot for the night and we have been treated to a truly beautiful sunset. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it as well as our eyes do. What a stunner of a sunset. We made ourselves comfortable for the night and slept very well after our hike. What a spot to wake up to, which was made even sweeter with some freshly squeezed orange juice. The golden nectar smells really, really nice. That's strong. Mmm, <laughs> that's nice. Very strong, but very, very fresh. So we were gonna go into Alicante today, but I'm not sure we can really be bothered. Uh, we're enjoying this pitch too much and we've come down for a walk on the beach and we just have a little slow moochie day and move on but we've got to find some water before tonight so we just come back from a nice stroll on the beach and we decided to move on it's been a really lovely spot if we're being a bit selfish it was a little bit busy there's a few cars pulled up this morning mm. that said it was very nice here chilled out and our next destination well we're heading south we're gonna just find our next spot which i've had a look um when i was doing a bit of research for these next seven days and it's another beach spot but on the way we could do with finding bins water we're very low on water and um maybe a loaf of bread treat ourselves to a loaf of bread a loaf of bread let's roll So that was another epic fail. Um, we are in short supply around here of water stops which are easily accessible. So we're going to a backup plan, which isn't ideal, but it's gonna cost us a lot more money to get water staying in a um, campsite. So we're gonna go around the corner to the Aldi, get some bread. I feel a bit deflated. Today's a bit hard work, isn't it? Just pop down to this marina to try and not steal water, <laughs> try and just find some that might be available. We found some taps, but I don't know if it's drinking water, so we just left it. Yeah, so off we now go oh. to Aldi. Got it. 80 something euro. 80 really? Euro. 80 something cents for six litres. But I preferred this because this could go in the cupboard yeah. instead of it being wider. Good choice, good choice. So now, on to our next and last spot of the day, hopefully. Is Santa Pola. Santa Pola, ah. Right. Let's go. We drove for around 30 minutes to Santa Pola. This is the first time in a while where we've uh, read reviews on Park Tonight from people saying they've got moved on and we weren't too sure. However, we've just turned up to the general area now and it is full. Well, wow, not full. The whole road, there's a lot of people in vans. The reviews are mixed because a lot say that they got moved on in the summer, mm. where I think they might be a lot more lenient in the winter when there's not as many tourists or holiday makers. Yes. However, again, beautiful sky tonight. Really beautiful. And we've got, a, we've got our own little seafront with about 20 feet from the sea. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, lovely pink sky tonight. Not a bad spot again. This spot was so beautiful we couldn't resist spending an extra day here just to chill out. Good 
Good morning. Good morning. We've had a lovely couple of days on the coast here, haven't we? Mm. We didn't really do very much yesterday, we must admit. We did nothing. <laughs> we had a pyjama day. Yeah. One that you'd kind of have in your house, but our house is that thing. But today we are off, we are on the move to El Shea. That's slightly more inland than we are now, but I mean, I guess we can't get any closer to the coast, can we? Hey. No, no, hey. no. El Shea is well known for its palm plantations and there's a World Heritage Site there. And there's also over a thousand shoe factories, did you know? Wow. And that's where we're off to. So let's plug in the sat nav and get the van ready to rock and roll. So we've made it to El Shea and we are now on the root of the palms. The Garden of Palms and the museum is shut today and it looks rather beautiful from the outside but unfortunately we can't make our way in. So it's shut on Mondays if you wanted to come. And if you want to know what's making those very tropical noises, they're parrots up over there. So Meg's just informed me that there are over 200,000 palm trees here in El Shea. And had the weather been a bit better today, we'd be a bit confused thinking that we are back in Goa in India. However, it's about half as warm as it was yesterday, hence the old woolly hat. But it's still a bit disorientating. Me and Meg were a bit cheeky having the extra day off yesterday, but we wanted to chill out. However, we've realized that we need to cover about 380 miles in the next 10, 11 days, mm -hmm. because we need to get to Portugal. And we didn't really realize today, as we film this, it is the 16th of December. Christmas is coming round very, very fast. Yeah. So 380 miles sounds like a lot, but it's what? 38 miles a day, but obviously some days we'll do maybe two or three hours, so some other days can be a bit more chilled. I guess it depends where we need to get to and what we need in regards to camping and amenities and all that. El Shea is also known for its olives and dates, and I've just blown both of our minds because we didn't realize dates grow on palm tree style trees. Mind blown, they're up there. Back to the van for a spot of lunch and then driving onwards for just over an hour to our next spot. Which is? saint jean <laughs> I think. To a camper van stop which is free, which I think there's six spots and there's a treat for Cal later on. <laughs> Our water container might not be the best and the most high-tech solution, however, being removable is very handy because the only source of water we found in quite a while is a small tap right in the middle of this park, so I've walked <laughs> a few hundred metres with a full bottle of water. But uh, we found some. Been one of our jobs for the last few days. Yeah. Always worth the effort. It keeps you in shape. <laughs> The treat in question was a rare meal out at an Indian restaurant. Bring on the naan bread. So we're fresh out of the restaurant and we're ready to uh, hit the road. We've got to go back slightly north and we're not exactly sure where we're going to stay tonight. No, we were supposed to be staying in the town slightly up the road, but it was really crap on the side of the road and we drove past and thought, no, we're not going to stay here. Yeah, so we've got some possible parking locations right on the seafront, um, about 15 minute drive from here. So hopefully all is good because if you can't park there, then we've got a big old drive ahead of us probably. And it's nearly nine o'clock, so we want to go to bed soon because we've got to be up early tomorrow mm. for a coastal walk. So, fingers crossed, we find somewhere in the next few minutes. So we found the spot. It's quite difficult to gauge of an evening and in the dark what kind of place it is. So, I suppose we'll find out tomorrow. There are other people in vans here, so we feel safe enough and that it's allowed. We're not in the bit that says no motorhomes, so... <laughs> but we're close to it. <laughs> let's find out in the morning if we get chucked off 
or um, there's a few of us to chuck off, so I don't think it'll happen. Yeah, this is quite a well-reviewed spot on Park for Night, and uh, like Meg said, we'll have a look around tomorrow morning. At the minute, it's really hard to see what this place is. Yeah, and we'll be leaving quite early tomorrow, so yeah. I'm not too worried. Got an exciting day tomorrow, have we not? Yes. See you tomorrow to find out. I think you've already said anyway. You've already spoiled the illusion! <laughs> Good morning from the Novice Explorers. Sorry for my slightly rough appearance. We've only just gotten up. We had a pretty good night's sleep here, but as you can see, it's uh, quite a big car park. There's a lot going on in the morning. So what we're going to do is pack up, not do any of the washing up or have breakfast. We're going to drive to Aguilas, where we're going to do a coastal walk. And that's where we're going to have a coffee, get ready for the day, leave the van hopefully parked up nice and safe. And we'll just rejig there because we feel like we probably shouldn't really be here. I don't know, it's one of them places. It's a leave early place. Shh, stay still. The police are driving past. Well, hopefully they're driving past. <laughs> don't come say hello. Hopefully they don't see me with my face cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Meg's put some pseudocreme on the sides of her mouth and she looks like a little bit of a sad clown this morning, unfortunately. <laughs> It's not your best look, and I think they might be a bit suspicious of you if they saw your little face, so uh, best stay inside for the moment. We've got almost a two hour drive ahead of us, so uh, we shan't be filming much of that because I think it's going to be pretty straightforward. So I guess we'll see you once we've, once we've successfully arrived at the car park. So we are on the Four Coves Coastal Walk and it's going to take us about three-ish hours. It's not particularly strenuous and it's a site of geological importance, cultural interest and a botanical micro-reserve. So let's go and see what it's all about. So quite unexpectedly today, the sun's come out and now everything's starting to pop a little bit and it's gone really rather warm and as you can see I'm in desperate need of the shower tonight so fingers crossed we find one. I've got one planned don't you worry. I must admit I did take quite a bit of a gamble but I must say the Megan Bratt um, holiday tour and chauffeur service is pretty good. A um, few wrong turns here and there uh, but the you know the information's a little bit wibbly wobbly sometimes but we get there in the end don't we? But then it's also <laughs> we learn together like I don't just tell you everything about it like And so after a quick outfit change, we're gonna head down to our favorite cove, have a little swim, and pick up some plastic waste that we found that depressed us very much. So unfortunately, this is the result of about one hour's litter picking. It barely makes a dent, but we thought we'd give it a go. And unfortunately, they're both quite weighty bags. There's all sorts in here. We're not gonna claim that we managed to do this every week. We don't, but this is the worst we've seen in quite a while. So we felt compelled because we've, we've had such a nice day here. We thought we'd do our little bit just to make it a bit nicer for the next people. Back in the van, and we've got a few Turn minutes. Right onto room 333. We've promised ourselves showers and toilets and all those little luxuries, so hopefully, there's room in this campsite we're going to. It's quite a cheap one. Well, it's not a campsite, really, it's, a, it's an overnight stay. It's like seven euros for 24 hours, so we want to make the most of it. Just I desperately want a shower, so I'm hoping there's room. So after a bit of confusion, we finally booked ourselves into the camp spot and luckily it is nice and quiet. We asked specifically to go a little bit away from people. We don't need electric or anything like that. So we'll show you more of that tomorrow. We've had our showers and everything. So now Meg's made us a lovely salad. 
And we're going to have our food, some aioli on bread with some olives, and we're going to watch Christmas films, which feels very weird because it's a lovely sunny day today. I'm still in shorts and t-shirt. And yeah, that's going to be us for this evening, and we'll show you more of where we are tomorrow, I think. But as for now, that's it. Good night, God bless. We'll see you in a bit. So good morning. This was our spot last night. Sorry we didn't show you. We kind of just like collapsed. The showers were a bit crap. For five minutes for two euros, you expect a little bit better. So today we are already having a bit of a late morning. We're gonna have some brunch and then we're gonna go and check out Aguilas. So we've packed up and moved on and after a short drive we've arrived in Aguilas. Yes, this is an old fishing town which is now more of a resort in the summer, but quite a quiet one. It's mm. where all the um, Scandinavian and Dutch people come, I've read. So we're just going to have a look around. I don't think there's anything particularly specific we're looking for, is no, it? No, uh, we could just do with maybe a couple of things from the supermarket. There's a harbour, there's a nice beach and just have a wander through the town. Here we go. So we spent about an hour, hour and a half walking around the town. It was very nice to explore. The beaches were lovely. Had a nice little stroll down there, saw some fishes. And now we are going to jump back in the van and we're going to Modricar, which is a little bit of a drive away. Uh, heading further down south, we're going to have a, a look around there and then we need to find somewhere to camp for tonight. Jumping back in the van, we drove south for around an hour. Now it's time to explore the historical town of Mojacar. No, we didn't quite pronounce it properly the first time. That's the way it is though, isn't it? Oh well. It is known for its whitewashed Moorish old town, settled on top of a mountainside. The town looked magnificent from a distance as we drove closer, and the views from it were also spectacular. Uh, so once again we are back in the van and ready to head off. The sun's gone in and it's gone very chilly. So we're heading off to our next camping spot and apparently it's um, it's a wild one and it's where they filmed Treasure Island, or so Meg tells me. The 1970s. This next spot appears to have been removed from the park for night absence we visited a few months ago. We're not exactly sure why this has happened. So apparently we're nearing our destination now and we're on a slightly unpaved road so we're hoping that the, uh, the spot at the end is worth it. We've already passed a few potential spots but um, once again we're being treated to a lovely... <laughs> once again we're being treated to a lovely sunset and uh, if there is a good spot at the end of here it's going to be absolutely perfect. So fingers crossed. We drove down this very bumpy and dusty track for quite a while. And at the end, we found more than we had bargained for. By chance, we'd bumped into a couple that we'd met in the north of Germany over four months ago. This was a big surprise. We updated each other on our adventures and future plans. So it's not very often that we actually manage to get up for sunrise, but on this occasion we are very glad that we did. This spot was spectacular, right next to the ocean. We were sad we had to leave. This video is going to be very skitty this morning, I think. We had a beautiful sunrise, didn't we? Mm. You saw that. Then we walked back down to the van, uh, did the washing up, did all the boring stuff, and got ready to leave. We said goodbye to our friends and had a chat there, and Meg picked up a bloody hitchhiker. <laughs> Friendly hitchhiker that was friends with our friends. So we gave him a lift back into Moshka. 
here we're just outside aren't we yeah um, and now we're just planning on where we're we going for the last night on our seven day adventure because the bad weather is coming in there's going to be two days of wind and rain so, so inland's probably better yeah and we've got some stuff to do we were going to film the lovely coastal road as we drove away but it was so windy the drone almost took a dunk in the sea so we decided not to bother with that and yeah we just showing off in front of the hitchhiker weren't you <laughs> we just want to turn turn the van around and start heading south still yeah yeah uh, we've got quite a bit of a drive ahead so we'll probably just shut the camera off for a few minutes and maybe show you where we eventually arrive which should be a nice little free spot it took us around one and a half hours driving inland just come past the Sierra Nevada mountain range and we're very close to the National Park. Unfortunately we did also pass the old western um, film location. Spaghetti Western, yeah. yeah. But Meg said no Callum, you can't enjoy yourself on this trip. No, we would have liked <laughs> to have gone but they're quite expensive for a day pass so we decided <laughs> together uh, yeah. that we wouldn't go. Oh no, I'm joking. We'll go to the beach in a couple of days when the weather gets better. So this is where we're going to hunker down for the next day, two days maybe? This free Spanish air was quiet and out of the way. Moving inland helped to steer clear of the storms nearer the coast. So this wraps up the end to a sort of typical seven days on the road. We've had some nicer spots it must be said. Yeah. Uh, maybe a few more beaches than we've had in the last couple of months. Yes, because we haven't been by the coast. We're really enjoying Spain. We've never been to the mainland before and we have found it really beautiful. Mm. Plenty of things to do and the food is amazing. So as we film this, it's actually the 20th of December. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to find a nice spot for Christmas and chill out for a few days. And then we've got to be in Portugal by the 27th. Yeah, so we need to go and get some supplies, yeah. stuff that we can go off grid. We've got four days to try and make it down as far south near Gibraltar as we can, because that's where we want to be. Yeah, we've kind of dawdled a little bit, which is good. It's yeah. nice and chilled out. Um, there's some spots we would have liked to have stayed longer at, but um, it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, we'd like to say thank you to everybody that told us where to go and gave their recommendations. So if you've liked what you've seen, give us a like, subscribe and click that bell button to get notifications when we upload next. What the next one will be? God we knows. Know. We don't know. <laughs> anyway, as always, thanks for watching. We appreciate you and comment below like Meg said and all that good stuff and it's starting to rain now so that wind is on its way. Yeah. Significant. This is uh, the walk, <clears throat> the coastal walk is along <laughs> behind bars. Banged up abroad. What's your crime? For doing stinky farts after that curry last night. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. Throw away the key. We're in an area of outstanding geography. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy, is it? Laughing at me earlier. So we have made it to El Shea and we are. <clears throat> So it's a bit. <clears throat> it's a <laughs> so, we're only doing it once, aren't we? <laughs> oh, you're all so, <laughs> um, <clears throat> so this is a. <clears throat> and we're off. We've got uh, yeah, almost uh, three, two, one. <laughs> and had the weather been a bit better, <laughs> biodegradable compostable waste. On it. Three, two, one. Well, oh, mother. 